Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick update of your forecast for Saturday night. Things are decently quiet for right now, not seeing any other major problems for the evening hours, most of the rain. And the thunderstorms have come to an end at this point in time. Special guest for tonight, my daughter's dog, Marlo, who is trying to take a nap in the crook of my elbow at this point in time. She's just had a roast beef sandwich and is feeling very good at this point. Almost tried to get my Gatorade, but fortunately I stopped her from getting that. But she looks like she's settling down pretty well. You doing okay for right now? Okay, just checking. All right, she's going to be sticking around down there while I tell you a little bit more about what's going on across the Mid-South tonight. Starting off with, again... A very beautiful view from our cameras tonight. The Cotton Exchange camera showing a little bit of cloud cover off to the western horizon. Wasn't able to catch Mercury, unfortunately, but we did manage to see uh, Venus and Jupiter, a conjunction that's not going to happen again for about another 60 years, about a half a degree apart, believe it or not. So again, a nice view of the western skies from downtown Memphis for tonight. Also a good view of dry conditions, good for travelers out there on the Hilton East Memphis camera from earlier this evening. No problem problems seen around the interstate system, no major backups or any problems there. Excuse me, looking out across the area for, again, thanking Deborah J. Spiegel from Humboldt, Tennessee. Very nice shot of the Venus-Jupiter connection after sunset with a little bit clearer skies as seen through the cloud tops there. No earthquakes to report directly in the Mid-South. We did have, manage to have one just to the north of the area, right up around New Madrid, just around the bend in the Mississippi, but nothing in the Mid-South area for about the last 24 hours, according to information from the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. If you'd like to access that information, their websites are earthquakes.usgs.gov, or you can go to the University of Memphis website at memphis.edu slash CERI for Center for Earthquake Research and information. U ultraviolet radiation, the UV index was rather high today at about a 7, estimated to be about the same into tomorrow, so don't forget the sunblock as you head outdoors. The almanac showing a high temperature of 96 degrees today rather on the steamy side out there, pretty close to the normal low. Matter of fact, spot on, 72, about as typically August for this time of the year as you can possibly get. A little less hot into the Death Valley area. High temperature for the United States today was 109 degrees. High temperature again for Memphis. We came within 13 degrees of that, so definitely in the thick of summertime out there, no question about that. Not really too much to show you in the way of rainfall for today, but we have gotten a heck of a good surplus, nearly three inches for the month, and we started off the first half of August very dry, so looking very nice out there. When it comes to the end of the month, if we finish up any, even more on that, we could be looking at about 15 inches of a surplus for the year. So very good on rainfall all the way around. Low temperatures tonight with less chance of any rainfall across the Mid-South back into the lower to mid-70s only by the time News Channel 3 Daybreak is on the air at 6 a.m. High temperatures tomorrow will be back into the mid to upper 90s. Very high amounts of humidity, so rather uncomfortable across much of the area. If you're going to be planning to do anything, outdoors tomorrow. Definitely want to think about a lot of water and a lot of breaks, if at all possible, just to be on the safe side. The 10-day forecast, including into the Labor Day holiday weekend next weekend, not showing a lot of help where it comes to anything involving rainfall anytime soon. So chances of rain across much of the Mid-South possible almost each and every single day, drying out by the time we hit Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of the end of the week and into this next weekend, but also seeing the potential of showers and thunderstorms out there across parts of the area off and on, so not seeing too much to worry about, but if you do have plans for outdoors, keep that in mind and keep it tuned to News Channel 3, as we'll keep you updated on the forecast there. Fog in the morning, we may see the potential of some lower visibilities. Doesn't look like a dense fog advisory for now, but definitely something you want to keep tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have updates on the fog situation as we go into News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning, and if anything gets issued by the National Weather Service, we will let you know about it. Lower right-hand corner of your screen around Florida, disorganized mess of showers and thunderstorms designated 99L. It's been wandering around the Caribbean and east of Florida for a while. 
it is supposedly was supposed to become a hurricane by about this time last week according to the computer models and as of right now not seeing anything that says it's going to happen but as this moves into the Gulf of Mexico we could be looking at a lot of problems including maybe even a major hurricane but the models are still very well split on what is going to be happening and which direction it is going to go so if you're heading to the Gulf Coast Florida's coastline state Texas Louisiana anything down that direction I wouldn't cancel your vacation but I wouldn't ignore this storm either. The waters of the Gulf of Mexico are about as warm as a bathtub, and that means that storm is going to get a lot of energy very quickly, so something to pay attention to there. 25 days and change until the last day of summer, and we switch on over to August. So we'll be looking for more chances of some cooler weather, hopefully heading our direction as we get into the next couple of days after that. Marlowe, it looks like, is fading fast, heading on over for a nap. You want to say goodnight to everybody? Anything you want to say at all? Nothing? Quit bothering you? Okay, cool. No problems. We'll have an update on the complete forecast. Sorry about my thumb there covering the camera. We'll have an update on your complete forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 and on News Channel 3 Daybreak as well. And stay tuned to WREG.com slash weather for more information as well. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your quick Saturday weather update. And again, join us tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 for more details on your forecast.